and I'm here with Adam who's the director of Praxis. As you can see Praxis made these fantastic uh, chain rings and which Adam's going to explain us in a minute and bottom brackets. You got it. It's our, uh, our infamous conversion bottom bracket that's kind of taken the industry by storm. What we noticed is a gigantic need for people that are trying to get their Shimano cranks, whether it's road or mountain bikes, onto three of the major, what we call oversized bottom brackets in the market. Right. Those being BB30 frames, PF30 frames, and uh, in this case, the specialized OSBB, which there are just thousands of specialized bikes out there. Yeah. So right now, customers, they're trying to get their Shimano cranks onto these bikes. They're dealing with these little small plastic adapters. Yes. Little kind of, uh, we call yeah. them band-aid adapters. They look good on the showroom floor, but they don't do great when they get out in the road and you're banging elbows right. with your friends. A lot of ticks, a lot of cricks, a lot of cracks are happening out there. Yeah. I feel that's wrong when someone's wow. spending that much money a on A creaking bottom bracket is the horriblest, horriblest. So, exactly. We're in this together. So we wanted to make a proper bottom bracket right. for a Shimano crank on the BB30, Pressfit 30, or the OSBB. Right. So, you so we're saying no to these band-aid adapters. Okay? Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. And what this is showing is our unique design is a two-piece design, but it has a very unique feature, which is our collet system. So a drive cup threads it's down the in what system? the collet system. The collet. So it's basically as the drive cup threads into it, it spreads out the collet and it has a machine. Oh, I see. Yeah. It has a machine stop, so it sets the press hit exactly on. You cannot over, over, you know, uh, expand yeah. it at all. So you cannot hurt your frame at all. And so how it looks in real life, which here is how so it looks. Just, so you just unscrew it. So here's your non-drive cup. It has yeah. a little tolerance O-ring, and what that's for is during manufacturing there's always small inconsistencies yes, course, in yeah. the bottom bracket so this takes up all the different frame manufacturing issues okay? which is what all o-rings do on spaceships and everything like <laughs> so then this presses in it presses in on the non-drive side of the frame this is the display so it yeah. presses in to the o-ring touches the frame then on your bike you can see the collets just waiting for the drive cup just sitting uh, there waiting see, okay? yeah, right. so the then your mechanic takes your drive cup and if you look closely this is a wedge right here yep. that's the male side and this is the female side and and you thread this down, okay, with your Shimano tool. Now this is the really unique and the, what most mechanics just love about this. As you're threading it down, you don't have to worry about a torque setting. No. Because we machined it and decide, decided to make it so that you basically turn it till it bottoms out. And what happens is when this bottoms out, you get it about halfway and you'll feel the friction build up as the collar is expanding. The mechanic will grab a second tool to hold it steady and they will bottom out the drive cup. And here's what happens is it hits this machine stop three major things happen. The collet now is at full expansion at right. 42 millimeters precisely so there's no wiggle, no creaks and it cannot damage the frame. Your tolerance ring has now taken care of any manufacturing uh, deficits during production. Right. Your drive cup now is locked right on Shimano standard loading the spindle exactly where Shimano wants their spindle loaded outside the frame right. in the widest okay. stance. And thirdly, when you connect both the left and right cup together you now have bearings that are perfectly concentric and parallel at all times, and they cannot independently articulate and rock around in the frame like current left and right separate systems do. Oh, of course, yeah. So, so, so basically what you've done is, is you've, 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 you've taken up the slack of the other system and just made it very precise. We made it a proper bottom bracket yeah. for this. So it comes for BB30 like this. Yep. If you have a PF30 frame, it yep. ships with an additional PF sleeve because PF is a 46 diameter, so you add the sleeve on so, this. So, so would in. that be for... Most people's bicycles are not using BB30. Well, it really depends because there's a lot of BB30 frames. Oh, right. okay. Take Cannondale, for example. There's many Cannondales that are BB30 and many Cannondales that are PF30, so you never know. Okay. So for PF30, you can get it with the sleeve. And then yeah. we just launched about three weeks ago the custom specialized OSBB because specialized oh, yes, right. carbon frames like the Roubaix, the Venge, the Tarmax. Yeah. Those frames have a proprietary frame that's 61 millimeters wide. Ah. So we did these little extra sleeves that you press in first into the frame and then you install your conversion bottom bracket, expands into it, locks it down, no wiggles, send your rider on yeah. the way. DA9000 just hit the market and there's all these frames out there that are trying to get put on these frames. Yes, of you know, course. Trying to get these cranks in these frames. So this is, quite frankly, the most rock solid, proper way to get a Shimano crank onto many of these OS frames. And Campy version is coming very soon. Oh, really? Yes. So okay. Those are three. BB30, PF30, OSBB, and the Campy version is coming very soon. Oh, thanks for that.